Hey coders, welcome back to Cyber Dioxide and today we are diving deep into the world of Python operators. Specifically, there are three types of operators in Python. And uh, before telling you that, I want you to make sure that you take the notes along the way. Then number one is arithmetic. And number two is comparison. And third is logical operators. Number one, arithmetic, comparison, and logical operator. So number first we are going to do is arithmetic. Let us create a new file operator. So what are arithmetic operators? If you are already the math enthusiast and you like the math, you will genuinely guess them that arithmetic operators are plus minus multiplication and v so we are going to first of all see how does this work if i do print 5 plus 5 and run it i got the answer 10 why because i use the arithmetic operator Arithmetic operators is only used with integers, floats, not with strings. You cannot add string with integer, you cannot add string with float, but you can add string with string. I'm going to show you. 11.2. Let us use with multiply. I don't know what the answer will be, but let's see. 31.335. You see, you can set the precision of it in the print statement and it will work fine. Now let's divide it. 1.0 now any guess what answer will i get if i do zero over here is anything divided by zero is infinity right is divisible zero division error float division by zero so anything you're trying to divide by zero is going to throw you an error so uh, arithmetic operators have been cleared so far now let's move towards the next one the string how we can add the string let me show you that let's suppose i say hello and then I do and now if I run I get this response I've used the comma over here but let's suppose I use the plus in between them and what the answer will I get back hello hackers if we do the plus with string it will concatenate those both strings I can do this name equals to cyber dioxide and then I do print hello that's name why because I have stored cyber dioxide in name and I am added the adding them with the string name holds the string and I'm adding that string with another string if I run it hello cyber dioxide hello hackers Nice and easy. Now let's move towards the second operator. What was that? The comparison operators. Comparison operators, as the name suggests, as the name suggests, comparison operators are used for making comparison. There are operators like greater than, less than, equal equals to, less than equals to, greater than equals to yeah these not equals to yeah and not equals to so these are the six arithmetic compare comparison operators that are used in python for making comparison what do i mean they are basically mostly used in control flow in if else statement but i'm going to show you over here as well if i do x equals to 10 and y equals to 15 and then I do print x less than y. Guess what will be the answer? Let's run it. True. Because x 10 is less than 15. So anything that the statement will be true will return true. And anything that is false will return false. Let's do it on the other side. Like this. If I run it again. 
false because x is not greater than y what if i do less than equals to yeah x is less than equals to y what if i do not equals to guess it before i type x 10 y equals to 15 it is going to return us true why true because 10 is not equals to 15 okay let's move towards logical operators logical operators are a little tricky one but you have to grasp it what logical operators does is let's suppose logical operators are basically like acting like a gates if you have studied gates in physics or math they are and or not what and will return and will return only true if both statements are true if all statements are true then and will return true and same for the or or will only return if any one of the statement is true if you are not getting it, don't worry, I'm going to show you the uh, logical demonstration of it. Hold on. And what about the not? Not is like a very bad guy. He's an evil. Not will turn true into false. And false into, you have guessed it. True. Nice and easy. Let me show you the logical demonstration. We are going to take two variables, sorry, three variables, a equals to one, b equals to two, c equals to three. All right. We are going to create a variable named as temp variable that will store the value of these logical operators. I'm gonna do a less than b and b greater than c guess what will be the answer a 1 less than b yes a is less than b it is true and b greater than c no it is false guess what will be the answer it will return false why it had returned false let me comment it out because you may be confused bit with this and the other one why it had returned false like i have said if all statements are true then and will return true otherwise it will return false this statement you see here is true but this statement is false this is the reason why it had returned false what if i do less than over here which you see is basically true and then run it now i get true because both of the statement are true now. Now let's go with the OR operator. And now if I run it, it will also return true. Now what if I do back the greater than sign over here, which is actually false. B is greater than C, which is false because C is 3 and B is 2. And now if I run it, I get true. Why is that? Why the heck is that? Because A is less than B. One statement is true or will ignore all the other false statement. If one statement is true or is going to execute it, it will stop over there. But in the case of and, it will not stop until and unless the statement becomes true. If any statement is uh, false, it will return false. All right. And now let's move towards not operate. It is used like this. A less than B. Is A less than B? Yes, A is less than B. Now let's run it. False. <laughs> now another confusion had occurred to you. A is less than B. Why the heck did I got the false? It is true because I have used not operator, my friend. Like I have told you, true into false and false into true. So not operator will turn true statement into false and false statement into true. In this scenario, my statement was true, but it has turned into false. If I do false statement over here and say that 
a is actually greater than b which is actually false and now it is returning me true so these were the operators uh, and in the next video we will basically explore uh, control flow and some inputs because these are the backbone of any programming language control flow thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one